Hello, I'm Melinda Molina from En Español, Chrysler Group's Spanish language media site. Today, we are celebrating Chrysler Group's inclusion on Latina Style's list of 50 best companies in the U.S. for Latinas. It is the 10th time Chrysler Group has been included on the list since it was established in 1997. To mark this special occasion, we have invited several Chrysler Group Latina employees to talk about their career journeys and life as a Latina at Chrysler Group and in the automotive industry. Welcome, ladies. Thank you, Melinda. Thank you. Now, I'm interested, where did you all go to school and what was your major? Um, I went to the University of Texas at El Paso and I majored in business and then went on to the University of Illinois and I have an MBA. I'm an industrial engineer. I went to school in Mexico to mm -hmm. El Tecnológico de Monterrey, which is one of the most important schools for engineering in mm -hmm. Mexico. Yep. Yes. I went to a local university, Madonna University, and my undergrad was International Business and Economics, and then I got an MBA in International Finance, emphasis in International Finance as well. I got a degree as a mechanical engineer in, back in Mexico from Instituto Politecnico Nacional. Very interesting. And has being Latina either helped or hindered you from, from progressing in this industry? Uh, in my personal experience, it has helped. Um, the first time I became part of the Chrysler team was because Chrysler was working in a, a project to have a, a woman as a production supervisor. And I, I was the very first woman in Mexico uh, as a production supervisor. And they, they wanted to launch that project. In my case, it, it helped. Wow, yes, that's very helpful. Um. For me, I don't know that it, it I, I think that we're so attuned to diversity here that I think the diversity and inclusion, I don't think that it's it's helped or, or hurt. I think it's just, it's a great place to work for all different, no matter ethnicities and all different diversities. Definitely. Anybody else like to add anything? Well, I mean, I was in, I guess Chrysler has always valued diversity and working on the plant being a woman, I think it was a great opportunity for me to get, to be here in the corporate offices. So, because uh, it really expands your horizon of working at the plant and then coming here. It really helped me to bring my Latina point of view to the corporate. Yes, definitely. World. And I think coming to Chrysler, I had worked at, at other businesses prior, other companies, other automotive companies prior, and I think Chrysler, especially being a member of the Chrysler Hispanic Employee Network, has really helped. I mean, you got to meet people from all over um, the company and have new friendships, and it was actually a wonderful networking tool and a great introduction to the company. Yeah, and Chrysler actually has six of those employee resource groups, and I know, Susan, you're the lead of the Hispanic one, which is the Chrysler Hispanic Employee Network. Do you mind telling us a little bit more about that? Sure. I um, I also worked in other uh, automotive companies, and I participated in Hispanic networks. And so when I came to Chrysler, I was, where's the Hispanic network? Where's the Hispanic network? And I got um, actively involved at, at, the, at the time the, um, it's gone just through when the company had just gone through the bankruptcy. And so they were trying to re we get um, people in and, and motivate the and re-engage the, the network and um, I became president about a year and a half ago and we have organ reorganized the board to align with the company's strategic business goals and so we have we did that with the 4C methodology where we have a committee for culture, community, career, and um, commerce. Now, commerce piece is a new piece for us, but what we're trying to do is have somebody, a director, accountable at the top for each one of those pillars of, of um, things that we go out and do in, in with our um, with our membership. And I know you ladies are also members. Do mm -hmm. you have anything that you would like to add, or about your experience within the network? Well, I would like. I mean, I am the director of a communications, and I think one of the greatest opportunities that this group has given me, aside from meeting all the people and creating networking with all the Latino community in Chrysler, is the fact that I am an engineer and I am doing the communications work. So that gives you the opportunity to expand your horizons. Right? Awesome communications work. Yeah, she does a great <laughs> job. <laughs> you. But I think that's that's the great opportunity to expand your career. You can also mm -hmm. develop your skills in different areas. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I mean, you published great. a newsletter 
that I think I sent I sent to the our marketing group and they were just like this is awesome so <laughs> how cool is that to have yeah. you know to be put that on your resume of things to do things you've done I mean thank you yeah it was and, it, and it's all mm -hmm. the cool thing is that all the activities that are in that newsletter are things that we have done as a group mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so it really represents what you united as a group can do for the community or for mm -hmm. the company in general Mm -hmm. I think off of what Pauline is saying too, I mean, our community involvement is huge. I'm the chairman for the professional um, professional organizations group. And so my job is to go out there and to talk to other organizations around the city of Mich uh, city of Detroit and talk about, you know, what is Chrysler doing and what are we doing different? And I will say we've been able to really benchmark, um, you know, different activities that we're doing across the board and other companies keep coming up to us going, wow, we'd like to be like Chrysler. It's kind of nice to know that mm -hmm. we've done in such a short time just a ton of different things that now all of a sudden we're kind of a leader in the industry and that's really exciting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Latina Style has actually recognized Chrysler Group for being an employer that helps benefit and empowers Hispanic women. What would you suggest or what would you advise young women or just anyone in general that, that would be interested in coming to Chrysler? What are the benefits? Why should they come? What do you feel would help them advance in their career? I would say I will encourage not just Latina women, all women to to, fo to uh, come to Chrysler and work. Um, Chrysler has, um, I will say, the best practice um, leadership manage management for empower us as a woman, as a woman, um, to become leaders, to to take advantage of our, um, you know, our international business vision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does anybody else have? Yeah, and, and like Virginia is saying, we we work at Chrysler and it's not a ma business for men only. There are a lot of different things that can be done in the in the company that there's, it was such a big company and there's so many areas where your talent can be utilized that not just because we build cars and we have plants, we have a lot of women working at the plants and it's really interesting, the women point of view in the operation. Mm -hmm. And we have um, a lot of different mentoring programs. Chen, we have our own mentoring program, but a lot of organizations within Chrysler um, have mentoring programs as well. So for anybody, whether they're just young and starting out in their career or they've been in the industry for quite some time, it's nice to be able to find somebody that can kind of lead you through the organization and really kind of help you along. And I think it's important in anybody's career because you don't want to stay stagnant. I think mm -hmm. you always want to kind of change. Um, you want to have a new energy. And with Chrysler, we were, as we were talking earlier, I mean, you have the opportunity to really be anything you want to be. If you want to be an engineer one day and all of a sudden you're now in, want to go into corporate communications the next, I mean, there's always an opportunity to move. And I think that's what makes Chrysler different from a lot of other companies is that you can actually start off your career as a young person and actually retire and have, you know, anywhere from five to maybe 10 careers um, during your lifetime. And I think that's, that's a lot of fun. I'm actually embarking on a new career myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving out of the finance organization and I'm going to try marketing and sales. Um, still a finance role, but it's still transitioning, trying something different. And I think the Chrysler Hispanic Employee Network allowed me to do that by making different contents. The mentoring programs are huge. But I think the overall leadership at the company is just outstanding. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've, I've, like I I've mentioned, I've worked at other companies before, and there's always been where you look up at the top and you, th you can um, admire one or two, but at this company, it's all of them. You mm -hmm. know, you look up and you're just admired. You just, you, they're all great examples of great leadership. So it's great, to, and then that, of course, trickles down, you know, into mm -hmm. the, the middle management. So it's great, it's a great experience. Thank you, ladies, for coming and joining us today. and. For more information on Chrysler Communications and products, feel free to visit media.chrysler.com or follow us on Twitter at Chrysler.